hello everyone so this is a demonstration on how the navigation works so to start with i will create one sales order in crm then we'll integrate it to navigation and then we'll see check out the nav functionality so i'm creating one new sales order in crm just click on new and name so i can give any name like uh, sales order default price list in the select one price list okay then the potential customer so i'm selecting one customer which is already been integrated into crm and navigation and i'm saving it so once it is saved then i will add some products so i'm adding one of the products existing product so i'm adding one product waste water surface primer quantity required is one it's one each okay the rate is 1275.22 dollars and now i will save it so once it is saved now i will go into the scribe to run this package so that it can get integrated to to our navigation just go into CRM to nav integration. CRM to nav is CRM to nav sales order. I'm just running it. So now going to navigation. So this is the navigation just opening the dashboard the home screen yeah so this is the basically the home page of uh, navigation uh, it is divided into some four parts like the first part is the header thing where you can have some action item then you can have some reports basically this dashboard is for sales order processor uh, you can see here so depending on your func uh, role your dashboard will change so I'm over, I opened with sales order processor. You will see late details related to sales, like sales code, open sales order. Is there any order ready to ship? Partially shipped orders, any delays? Then you can see the trailing sales orders. You have some items you can share. Keep it here. Then some customers with the balance. The top ten customers you can set it here. You have if you have any notification, you have the notification bar. This is a favorite bar. So this is basically the dashboard. Now I'm going to the sales order to check whether we have uh, the the created sales order has been integrated or not. So it was for Accenture. Yeah. So the sales order has been created here. Accenture Private Limited. Just opening the sales order. Okay. The sales order is open. The quantity is one. So I have to select the warehouse which warehouse will i will ship this item so i've selected a warehouse so as soon as i select the warehouse it's giving a pop-up that there is available inventory is minus one that means there is no inventory available in my warehouse so i'm just it is asking should i continue with creation of the sales order so i'm clicking on yes that you continue okay then some important points here that in the right hand side we have some details like any sales order created for this customer any posted invoices shipments then this is basically related to sales line like for this item that if there is any required quantities one what is the inventory unit of measure and other things then you have notes to put some comments on it okay so we understood that there is no inventory available in the system so i will run a planning planning so when i click on planning it is giving me that there is a negative inventory means that must be some other sales order also present in the system and we don't have inventory so it is showing that there is negative minus four inventory so it is asking me to create a production order yeah so when i click on create production order uh, it has given me a pop-up uh, it is asking me to create a production order in which status so status basically we have three status in production order one the first one is planned planned means uh, just a draft production order that you have planned to produce this item then there is a firm plan firm plan means it is approved the, the production order is approved and released means it is ready to start 
no production so i'm just creating a production order as released and pressing clicking okay yes okay so now it will give me a pop yeah so it has given me a pop up that released production order 101024 has been created okay then i'm closing this now i'm going to the production order so i can just type in the this is a global search so i'm just typing in this released released production orders and 101024 has been created here i'm just opening it so you can see there is one quantity basically this is because uh, this production order is linked with my sales order that's why it is given as one quantity now when i go to detail like components uh, it is showing me that for producing one item of wastewater surface primer you require around 16 pounds of parte hardener and 16 pounds of liquid okay so this is basically a bomb then there is a route routing which will show me that what all process required for producing this item so it is giving me that uh, mixing and packing mixing and packing so uh, mixing it is given me run time of 10 minutes and packing uh, 15 minutes so i'm just clicking on okay uh, okay so now i will proceed uh, with planning so for producing this item i required two raw material which is shown in the components now i have to run a plan planning so what this planning will do is basically i just run this calculate plan so now it is running a planning now what this planning will do is basically it will check the components which are required to produce this item is available in inventory or not if it is available in some different warehouse then it will ask me to create a transfer order if it is not available then it will ask me to create purchase order and if it is available in the same warehouse where i want to dispatch it then it will not create any line in the planning so let's see what this planning does so till now just uh, st starting from create what we have done just briefly uh, we created a, once the order comes in we created a sales order in crm then we integrated to through scribe in navigation then we check the inventory so we found that there is no inventory available for this item so we ran a sales planning so in the sales planning it asked us to create a production order then we created a production order okay we checked what all components required to uh, produce this item what all process required to finish produce this item and then we ran a planning so now the planning is ran and it created one line 101024 which was our production order i just expand it so i can see there are two items part a hardener and liquid and needed quantity 16 and 16 pounds and it is showing me to purchase it okay so just below the replenish system there is a supply from so here i need to put the vendor through whom through which vendor i need to purchase this item so i click on supply from so it is showing me the vendor which i have put as a approved vendor in my uh, for this item so it is coolwood coolwood technologies so i'm just selecting this vendor same applies to part b liquid and it is mundasen corporation so i've selected both the vendors for this two and i will create click on make orders and i am currently making order for only for this active order then press okay so this will create two purchase orders for procurement of this item and the line has been removed from this planning that means we have created the purchase order now going to the purchase order yeah so you can see there are two line purchase order created one of mundasen corporation other for coolwood technologies so we'll Go and open this purchase order. So I open the purchase order of Coolwood Technologies. You can see part A hardener required is sixteen pounds. The price it has taken from the last purchase, and few details you can see in the right light. If there is any outstanding balance, we need to pay to this vendor. 
any overdue so total you need to pay 94 369.04 dollars but outstanding overdue is only 34,925 dollars then other details like how many orders you have created for this vendor how many written shipments how many receipt we have received how many posted invoices we have done okay and basically the notes so we'll go ahead and post this purchase order so here we have three options first one is only to receive this option is used when we have a separate department for receiving the goods and for the accounting part that is the invoicing part so if if we we have two separate department we can then we can then first receive the goods and then do the invoice otherwise we can do both the tasks simultaneously together receive an invoice so i just doing receive an invoice okay and when i post it i will get one error what error it is giving me that you need to fill the vendor invoice number so here it is star marked so i need to give some vendor invoice number and then we'll post it so i posted this so once i posted it it will be deleted from this open purchase order now coming to the second purchase order again putting the vendor invoice number and posting it receive an invoice okay so now we have posted both the purchase orders now going back to our production order which is in release production order 101024 open up and now we'll go to the production journal yeah so now it is showing that we have two components which need to be consumption and for output when you have to complete the two processes so consumption quantity is 16 you can change it if required and time it is asking for run time that how much time it took for uh, mixing those goods and packing so i'm putting some 25 minutes for picking and 15 minutes for packing this is used basically for costing so you will get the actual cost of uh, the production that for producing one item of this wastewater it took two components hardener 16 pounds and liquid 16 pounds so their costing will be taken from the purchase price and 25 minutes for mixing and 15 minutes and we can set the per minute cost that for per minute my labor charge with this much so accordingly you will get a perfect costing for your production and then this is this production both this process are finished i will take on finish and and post it and post it so i've consumed two items and done the mixing and packing of this and it is posted close this and mark this production order is finished okay so this status release has been changed to finish and this will be deleted from this production orders going back to our original sales order sales orders accenture private limited And we'll do the posting here also the same you can dispatch and then do the invoice or you can do uh, both uh, dispatch and this together so I'm doing the shipping and invoicing together So this this is posted now it is being posting yeah and it has been removed from the sales order so we have completed the full cycle from creation of sales order to uh, planning to run production order then from production order to purchase order once the goods are comes in raw material we have done the production finished the production order and done the dispatching and invoice of this sales order then coming to some part of finance like uh, receivable in customers just opening the same customer accenture private limited so in the ledger entries 
you can see the invoice which you posted right now 103047 with the amount and the due date that it is due on 4th August so we need to collect the uh, receive payment from this customer on 4th August so this is the due date ba this is calculated based on the payment terms okay so this for the customer master same applies to vendor you can see in the vendor also vendors I'm opening one vendor I'm going to ledger entries to see the all the four purchases we have done and this red one this indicates that this is due for payment that you need to pay for this invoice at the due date has came in so so that is all from then other thing like GL you have you can uh, pass on JVs and do the receipt entries the payment entries from the JVs so this all other stuff from finance side so that's it for the day from the demo thank you thanks for your time